Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling once again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, quick video share today, just continuing the theme um, of uh, sharing, working in my December portion of a day book. Um, I've done two videos uh, so far I think, one showing um, how to do the, when we did the first couple of pages, you, and actually placing the uh, beaded trim, concealed beaded trim, and the other, I think the second one, um, when I was dabbling with the windows, the, uh, mm, yes, the picture windows, um, a la Nick the Booksmith, which is I've loved, I've done in other journals, and I thought I really fancied some in mine. So, so we've done that. Uh, today, what I'm going to go through is, um, I'll just want to see what we've done since been off camera just done a couple of things i think um since i've finished the last video i basically embellished the back of the um of the december i haven't cut it yet if you can see that beautiful lace i've double i've doubled it up here um i've got some of this lace to go in my latest um custom order project um all things english I'm doing three books in different tones of blue and some of this lace came the other day and I thought, you know what, that will go so nicely in uh, my day book, piece for me. So today what I'm going to do is um, tip-ins. I didn't know what that meant, to be fair, um, for a long time. <laughs> I was doing a bit of Bible journaling a couple of years ago and people kept talking about tipping things in. Didn't know what that was, but it basically means um, sticking new pages in uh, to your journal um, once you've actually got other pages in situ. So I'm going to do the vintage skater images. I'm going to add those, a couple more of those uh, from the Mrs. Cogs collection. There's uh, that one and there's one here as well I want to add in, to tip in. If you can see how beautiful that is. And I'm also going to do a tiny bit of stamping as well. Um, I wanted to do today the stamping I really like this um, this Daphne's diary image. I don't know if you can see it of this beautiful, um, just a little uh, snippet of that lovely warm throw. And um, I like the idea. I've done it in another journal of um, sort of warm throws and coffee. Um, so I've picked up this little bit of um, coffee stained kind of paper that I got from a book. Um, did you know, I think I've got a stencil somewhere. I bought a stencil ages ago to do this and I can't find it. I'm really quite miffed. But anyway, I want to tip this in next to that. And I want to do um, some stamping using some of my um, coffee themed stamps. So that's what we're going to do today. So without much further ado, let's go for it. The first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I've gone on to, so this will be day seven. And what I want to do is, because I've got the, the door here, and if you can see that, it's like a little um, image of the door, which I love, with a number nine on. I want the nine to stay there, so that I can perhaps do a tiny bit of journaling on that page. So this is going to be six, and then I'm going to do a little notebook with this. Six, seven, eight. I did have a little bit of paper to, yeah, to tip in there. Um, so that's going to be number eight, then we're going to go into nine. So without much further ado, I've just got this, it's from a, if you can see how it looks. It was from a um, letter writing set that I picked up in a charity shop a few weeks back. So I kind of tore one bit out and um, ta -da 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 -da, glue, glue would be great. And um, I'm going to stick what, uh, one sheet, a little torn out sheet, straight onto the, um, onto the page. Let's get a bulldog clip and try not to knock the camera because I'm kind of got the tripod set up and I'm working behind, working behind. So we'll try and keep everything in frame. And let me have a slurp of my coffee. Um, so let's 
what I'm going to do is actually just really ink the edges on this. This isn't the professional way to do it apparently, you just use your dabber. Um, from my other videos, if you've seen any of them guys, you realise that I do not ink delicately. It's not the style, a lot of people do and it's just so nice but I just sort of fling it on and go for it really, to be fair. So, let's just go for this. Um, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. So I'm going to pop this straight onto the actual back of that bird page there. Um, and that's not, that hasn't caught the thingy, has it? Shall I just, oh no, da, 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 da. let's do that again. There you go. Still in frame? Still see what I'm doing? All right, let's quickly just pop this straight onto the page. Okay, for starters. And I will journal on that and probably put a number on it as well. That will be a number eight. Shall I? Do you know what? I didn't, wasn't going to number, but I think for speed, just so you can get a, a gist of what I'm what's going on in my head with this idea uh, right, I'm gonna do that I'm going to just to take down oh, I am going to use my dabber for this bit just to take down the brightness of the back of the page uh, I've gone for gathered twig um, it's a really quick way just to do that And so it all will kind of blend in. That's the idea. And if I've done the camera, I'm so sorry, guys. Is that giving you a bit of seasickness? So now under the paper clip, uh, the bulldog clip, it's not, I haven't had a chance to do that, but it won't matter because I'm going to pop this over the top. So what I've done, I've, I've cut out another little bit here. You can see that there. And I'm just going to pop that on the top and uh, somewhere we've got a stapler I'm just going to staple it make it into a tiny little notepad oh, it was going to be really flash and use coloured oh wouldn't you know it wouldn't you know it well one will have to do by the looks of it guys one will have to do um, and I might just round the edges I've got my paper my And I will ink it. And I will ink it. There you go. And I will, if there's any left. Oh, there's a tiny bit. If you can see, of ink left on my. So it looks like we're going to have to do with one staple, but as it. Uh... Oh dear, who knew, eh? Best laid plans of mice and men and all that. But I really like that. Although, to be fair, my printer's not brilliant at the moment with the colours, so it's probably not the truest representation of the colours. But there you have it. So we we'll pop that there, and what we'll do, we might just have to just glue that top bit down, I think, because I can't be bothered with messing about with the... With staples now can we see that there guys let's just glue the top back in fact you there can you see ah, there you go and I might just oh I just want to do it in frame but I'll probably stick the whole book together now won't that be funny I don't think so so let's just tip that in like that, like so. And once it's in, once it's in, right, I'm going to put number seven on this one. If I can find the seven. Um, Seven. Uh, 
Okay. Right, how's that looking? How's that looking? Let's pop that like that. Like, do you know what I thought I might do? Is that a bit of washy? Or lace. I had a little bit of lace that I thought might look quite nice just at the top there. Be nice just sticking out, won't it? Hmm. Let's do that. Let's pop that on. Let's pop that on like so and then we'll go on to the next one. Looks like I might have to I have to divide the video up. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to leave that like that, like so. Okay. So we have five. Then we have six. We turn over. You've got our Mrs. Cogs. Beautiful vintage skating image. We go to seven we go to eight and then we hop across to nine Alrighty. Alrighty, that's that now another swig be an interesting proposition to kind of keep that separate what can i pop let's pop that in there for now just while oh, shall I pop it over here I think I'm gonna pop that over there whilst I go on to the next page and the glue's drying so we have uh, this is a little bit it was from a paint book a paint sample book a posh paint sample book and so on this side I want to use tip in uh, this image as I've said which is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I've just cut it down and I've uh, used my edge scissors edging scissors and um, gone over the edging in a little bit of the what's that called broken china and a long time ago my husband bought me some of the Tim Holtz uh, distress ink you know in a spray and I was experimenting first of all at trying to get a little sort of very vague vintage kind of type feel with the spray um without water and with and you can see i failed miserably but i just thought i'd keep the paper anyway and um, i'm going to use this i'm going to tip it in here and what i've done is i've just sort of folded it in half and i've added some of this winter washi top and bottom on the inside and if you can see winter themed washi I think so pretty look at that little house in the snow can you see it so I've done that on the inside um, and I folded it over and I'm just going to glue it onto the back of that page okay so that's tipping that in like so um, Doing. There you see it's just still making up as you go along. Eh? Have I done that right? No measurement or anything, just chuck it all in, which is okay for a book of mine. Oh, I am tend to get blue everywhere and have I gone up too high? Let's bring that down a bit. Let's bring that down a bit. I like the idea of how that looks just on the edge there, if you can see. I might just tidy it up a little bit. Probably do that off camera. Alright, what's going on here? How are you doing? Let's pop that back in there like so. Because I think under that later it's not all dry yet. So that's tipped in like so. And then all I'm going to do is place that image on the back there like so i don't know if i should put a bit of washi underneath it quite 15 minutes already 
a bit of washi underneath it guys do you think could look nice with a silver silver could look nice leave it I'm gonna leave it as it as is having said that the next time I turn the camera on you might find that I've put some I have popped it on a little bit okay so that's the second page that I wanted to tip in kind of tipped in Oh, I love that. I love that. I love it. I don't know what you think, guys. Oh, here we go. I do it every time. So that's how that looks there, if you can see. Yeah. And then, um, let's you can zoom in and have a look. And then you open it up. So then that will be 9, 10, 11. Brilliant, brilliant. So, just on our tip ins, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is um, can I go for the stamping as well? Will I regret it? Will I regret not switching the camera off? And I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, 17 minutes. I'm going to finish it there. So just uh, tipping in vintage skaters uh, for this video. And then I shall start the next one, um, which is just doing a bit of stamping. We'll, we'll do the coffee stamping um, with uh, and create tip in this page. All right. Take care. I'll see you in a moment. Bye. Bye.